Yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I uh, got the 120 Atlas Band build on the block. Uh, today we're going to be trying this great stuff. Um, I got this at Home Depot. It was really cheap. Uh, five bucks. Five bucks compared to a uh, forty or fifty bu dollar bottle of pour foam. This is uh, it, it, it's a uh, it's expanding foam. All right, it will seal gaps, cracks in your home or you can spray it in the sponsons of your boat, in the bow of your boat, as a foam or pool noodle substitute. All right, so I'm going to kind of do a little experiment. We're going to spray a little bit of this in a little container, kind of, kind of take it out, see, check its density, see how much it weighs compared to regular foam, um, see how hard it gets, and check the weight and float it. See if it floats. All right, before we spray it in the boat. So stick around. Shaking it up. That poor phone's expensive and I'm poor. <laughs> Alright, so it's not really expanded. Alright, so I'm gonna let it sit there. Let's see how how it dries. Let's do a little test. Whoa. It's been about about four hours, I would say, about four hours, and it's actually expanded. It's a slow expanding foam. Um, it seems like it's giving it some, some like this bowl, some structural integrity. Okay, so if you get a, a hit from the side or you take a hit, it's not going to ding your boat up on these sponsons. So, um, in that aspect, it's going to be nice. You know, um, it expanded, and that's what we're looking for. The spray foam that we we sprayed. I've got a block of foam. Just regular old styrofoam, and I got a pool noodle. Uh, there's no real scientific way that I know that we can kind of test the buoyancy, so I'm just going to kind of put them in there, push down on it, and whatever I feel has the the best buoyancy. Um, so that foam, the foam actually feels pretty good. Let's see. So this one, the spray foam actually feels about the same as the block of styrofoam, same amount of buoyancy. Same amount of pressure pushing it back back up. The pool noodle feels like it has less buoyancy than all three of them. All right. Yeah, see how slow it came up compared to the styrofoam. Styrofoam came up quick. So did the spray foam, and the pool noodle kind of comes up a little slower. Look at all the water that comes out this pool noodle. All right, these things soak up water. See how it conforms and stuff? It soaks water up. Look at that. Still, still squeezing water out of it. Let's see if this has any water come out of it. No water coming out the, the spray foam. All right. No water coming out of the block of foam, the styrofoam. So let's see how this one does. See that? I even kind of knocked the water off of it and it's still got water coming out. So I think pool noodles is overrated for boats. Spray foam's gonna work for our project. Uh, I suggest it, I suggest it. We'll go check it out. Let's see how well it cuts and sands, all right? With 80 grit, it sands pretty good, all right? And let's see how well it cuts. Okay, cuts pretty good. All right, cuts clean. Now let's try with heat. Let's just see how well it cuts with heat. Cuts nice with heat, see that? All right, so it's pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Yeah, this stuff's cheap, man. It's cheap. Five bucks for this bottle at Home Depot. So let's see how it stacks up to, to a piece of regular foam. I would guess it's about the same density, you know, if it was all balled up into a ball. So 1.5 grams, 1.44, 1.5 will round up, 3 grams. So it's much heavier. So, oh man, in these big runs, in the big runs on this boat... I may, I may 
all right just kind of cut a piece to go in there and then try to stick it in with this spray foam that might be the trick to save on weight to save on weight you know um we'll see we'll see let's uh let's get started on it 99.9 percent .9 prep one percent point one percent actually doing the job you know prep it up so i'm actually taking some masking tape going around the whole the whole boat the whole exterior of the boat taping off this top top of my non-trips and side plates here all right stuff it's really sticky and messy you get that stuff on your balsa wood and you're trying to scrape it off or sand it off once it's done it's probably going to take big chunks of the side of your boat out so um just take a few seconds tape it off A couple pieces of foam cut as you guys seen just going to use it in the front because these are big sections and um, that would probably save me at least I don't know eight or nine grams of or more of this spray foam so, golly fingers crossed everything comes out all right I've tried to think about everything I'm gonna start back here and work my way to the front kind of nervous kinda, that's why I've taped off my boat right there Whoa! Whoa! I'm going to try to push it down in my, with my fingers, you know? Because it's going to expand. This stuff's really sticky. Yeah, man, I'm glad I taped it up. Yep, I'm glad I taped everything off because this is a mess. That's the nice thing about pour, pour foam. You don't have to worry about all this mess. You just pour it in the little crevice and it'll expand out. Alright, so I'm going to try to get it under the foam here. Get behind the foam. Good deal. It got behind it. It got up under the foam there. That's what I was hoping. That bulkhead's keeping that uh, packing foam in place. Actually, I went through and sanded. I sanded my wood. This wood, the epoxy. The epoxy there, that coat epoxy. And um, I sanded it with 80 grit before I sprayed this in there so I get a nice adhesion with the spray foam to the sides of the boat, you know? Um, I'm telling you, I, I've really thought about it before actually doing this because it's this my first time messing with this. And I hope I can help you guys with your application of spray foam. Yeah, it's wanting to push that foam foam, the cut foam, out. Looks pretty good. Glad I taped it off. 
all right that stuff would have been hard to get off my my balsa all right taped it off all the way around and i'm super glad that i did see on this wing right here i'll just pull that tape off hopefully it'll peel the the spray foam off yeah it lived up to its claim 15 minutes tack free and it's been 15 minutes tack free it's been about 24 hours it's uh it's really hard to, to touch i didn't have any blowouts at all i did have one area right here on this side where it's actually pushed my balsa out you see that kind of bowed it out that kind of sucks Everywhere else looks pretty good though, nice and solid. Um, while it was drying, it tacks off in 15 minutes so you can work on the bottom of your boat. Um, I actually put some powdered graphite in epoxy, 24 hour at 209, 105, and um, epoxied the bottom of my ride pads, just kind of did a little thin coat, sanded it a little bit. But uh, let's cut it, let's cut it. You can cut it with heat. It cuts good with heat, we tested that. All right, we can cut it with this Japanese hack like saw right here or this like real fine flush cut saw. All right, so um, I think I'm just gonna kinda knock off the high spots with this, with this flush cut saw. Try not to cut into my boat. Cuts nice, cuts really nice. Definitely don't want to cut into my, my bulkheads or stringer. I think uh, I think this is a good substitute for pour foam. I really do. I think it's a good substitute for pool noodles. It cuts good. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. All right, so I'm not going to bore you guys with this whole part right here. I just wanted to show you how it cut. All right, it cuts good. And uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with all of this. I'm going to sand it up and, and finish it all up in that, you know, off camera because it's, it's probably going to be really tedious. Hey, you guys, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Turned out pretty good. There's a few little holes in there, which is fine with me. Lighter, lighter boat, you know. Uh, sanded it all up, you know, pulled the tape. I still got to pull that tape. Got it all off this side. But, um, but yeah, yeah, so five ounces which is 150 grams i think but i was weighing the boat up and i'm like why is the boat so freaking heavy it's like eight gram eight ounces you know that's like 400 grams i was like i know this freaking spray foam wasn't that much it didn't weigh that much oh my god eight gram and i looked under the tape and i had my motor in it also have this on there too so that adds a little weight so around 140 grams all right with the spray foam so yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's, it, it looks good. It looks good. And this stuff, I like it. It adds some like structure to the, to the side of your boat, you know, whereas a, a pool noodle, it doesn't. You just lay it in there, you know, and, and styrofoam. Um, pool noodles are going to soak water up there and, you know, they're heavy when they have water. They're light as they are, but they're heavy when they have water in it. Okay. Um, they, 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 they deteriorate over time, all right? So I seal this thing up in my sponson. A year or two from now, there might not be anything left of this uh, pool, pool noodle, all right? Styrofoam, it's a great flotation, but it doesn't add any structure, any rigidity to your boat, all right? The great stuff, it adds rigidity, all right? It'll get in every little nook and cranny. It sticks to the sides of the boat. It conforms to the side of the boat, all right? Um, you take an impact from the side here, and it, it'll it'll probably take it. You might have a little ding in the in the balsa, but it'll take it. You're not gonna have a huge gaping hole. So I I, I um I like the great stuff. It's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. You know, um, my target weight with the boat uh, skinned out is 175 grams. I think I'm on point right now. I think I'm well on my way. So. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys liked the little test, the little comparison, and um, I like the great stuff, all right? I even sprayed it in my rigger, all right? I sprayed it up here in my rigger so I don't uh, sink this thing again. I got to kind of carve out a little place for my, my RX, but 
I, I, uh, I, I suggest it. So far, I suggest it for, for your boat. I like it. Um, so thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. A channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Hopefully, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.